Hey, what is up gamers? and Forza 5150 here, and I definitely needed to do an update on the video we had yesterday with uh, enabling uh, DLSS4 on, uh, you know, any card basically that we have. Now, th there is a few things that NVIDIA is definitely not doing right. There's a lot of things, you know, not working exactly as planned, but uh, I want to explain some of the settings because a lot of you, you know, had some replies to the last video um, talking about which games that it was showing unsupported for, and there are reasons for that. Now, if we look here, uh, the 75 games and apps, now this is just the ones that will have DLSS 4. Now, it doesn't mean that it will be in the override because it will ha actually have to um, not have it in their actual games update. And it says right here, for games that haven't upgraded to DLSS 4 or have yet to natively integrate DLSS multi-frame generation, NVIDIA app enables support through the new DLSS 4 override feature. So if you look at the settings that it gives you here, um, we'll look at Horizon uh, Forbidden West, for example, it just has a check mark here. Now, these other ones, now if we look at the beginning of the video, or not the video, <laughs> at the beginning of what they give us here, you know, the NVIDIA app. So basically, if it has the MV on it, that means you actually enable it with the app. If it doesn't have that, then it's not, you know, you don't need the app for it. If you have just a check, like for a quiet place here, it just has a check for super resolution. You're not going to see it in the, uh, the actual game here. And it'll probably say either unsupported or just won't have anything there for an option. So if you already in reinstalled NVIDIA app and everything and it still doesn't show it, that's why. And then the uh, updated model is one we have here. Um, and then we have the transformer model and you know another transformer model for DLAA. So uh, if we look at, I have Ready or Not installed. I installed a few games uh, like God of War. Well, let's look at God of War first. Cause that is one that y'all you know, mentioned that had some issues. Um, now, this one, you'll see it has MV, MVU, and then it has a check mark on the third one. And if we go back up to the top here, we'll see that the first two is multi-frame gen, which I won't be able to use because I'm on a 40 series, the RTX 4080, the i7 4700K, and then we have DLSS uh, regular frame generation. And that's just the updated model. So it's not going to have the transformer model so we won't be able to change it so let's look here uh god of war ragnarok and you see i already put here now super resolution and you're like oh what the heck it shows unsupported but why does it show unsupported because it only has a check mark for super resolution and frame generation updated model and that is where it was really getting confusing for a lot so if we go under here and we go to latest and i do want to mention i did read your comments that the j uh version is just the latest one you have on here and k is when you just use actual latest so when you have the other options yeah i didn't catch that the first time around my apologies um yeah so if you want to you know, want the k version preset you just use latest so best to use just latest on everything but now if you see here we have unsupported and this one just has it as used 3d settings so we're going to go ahead and open up the game all right now we are going through the capture card but uh there is um some tearing because i have the uh v-sync forced off which usually you want it on <laughs> But game looks really freaking good. Now, if we go over to our settings here and we see all we have is um, NVIDIA frame gen. And why do we just have frame gen? Because it only has the updated updated models. Now, if I had a 50 series uh, card, it will sh it will show the new version on there. And right now I have DLA and if we put it on performance or quality, I think performance is the one that they're kind of working with with the dlss uh uh four but yeah i mean we get a lot of frames here 225 213 and it does look really good in comparison to how it was looking before the dlss four definitely adds a lot of improvements um but 
you're seeing the unsupported mainly because it only has that check mark or it just has the U on it, which is just giving us the the update uh, updated version, not the transformer model. All right, we're gonna go ahead and try another game here. All right, so now one of the most confusing things I, I think is, um, for example, Final Fantasy 16. Now this one is definitely not working right, correct, right now. Um, in yeah, they're NVIDIA apps, so. I, I hate suggesting using a third-party app like DLSS Switcher, but you might need to for this game. Um, now, if you look at you know the supported games here, 75 games and apps, and we go ahead and look for Final Fantasy, uh, you can see it's in the supported games and apps. Okay, that's great. And we look over here for Final Fantasy 16, it has MB, MB, updated and T, which is the new transformer model. And then we have just a regular uh, check mark. So what is what does that mean? We should be able to update everything in the in the NVIDIA app. Now, this is where it, it comes to a problem. Once you add it, uh, you'll be able to grab these settings. But as you see, it still says unsupported. And now this is one of the ones that there is a problem with them because uh, you have to actually manually add the game, so it's not collecting all the information. And if you look at supported games here, and you go try to look for Final Fantasy, Final Fantasy 16 is not there. And that's for the optimiza for optimizing the game. So these are the only ones that you can optimize the game within the app. So there is definitely still an issue here. And the only thing you can do is use latest. You can use latest, but if you go in the game, it still shows as DLSS3. It may be using it, but there's no way for me to actually verify it without using inspector or something like that to double check in that case. I may as well just manually uh, update it. Now, uh, let's look at another game. This was another one that was on Anomaly, the one I did yesterday. And I think it's because I installed the game while I still had DLSS3 running, but it does give me all the, the new, uh, models and i can use the ultra performance and dlaa yeah it, it, it shouldn't actually show the override models for this game because if we look at uh here and that is for hogwarts you see it has checks for everything so it doesn't need to be updated via the uh the app and i was kind of wondering that because the game updated while i was doing my video yesterday so when i went back in to switch it back it was still working and i was like what the heck is going on <laughs> so yeah it, it doesn't actually have to use the override all right so now we have one uh ready or not uh this will, this will probably be the last game that we uh go through here because like i said i just kind of wanted to update from what we had yesterday now this one has a transformer model an updated model and reconstruction as a transformer model as well and if we look here, ready or not, uh, unable to retrieve settings because I haven't opened up the game uh, since I reinstalled the NVIDIA app. Um, we should be able to set latest, latest, apply that, the DLSS, and ultra performance. And this is the thing that th does have me kind of sketchy about everything is that they only have the two uh, settings. Why do they only have these two? And someone mentioned that in the last video, which I definitely agree. I feel like maybe they're only letting the version go through on ultra performance and the other one. Let's go ahead and open up the game and see what kind of settings we have. All right. So now we are in game. And if we look at our graphics settings, we should have all the options we're allowed to do. See, it's showing DLA because I set it to that. I'm pretty sure I set it to that. Yeah. And then we just have on or auto now if we have a 50 series card we should be able to see it uh jump up uh with a 3x 4x uh, if we have our ultra performance we should be able to uh use basically all the new uh settings and this definitely i mean ultra performance this definitely definitely looks good um not as much ghosting as we had before. Now I used frame generation in this game before and it looked really awkward. And right now it doesn't, you, you're only getting 60 frames out of the, you know, 300 that are going there. And I only have 144 hertz monitor. So <laughs> 144 there. That's why I usually have that capped. But yeah, I, I think, um, 
I think it's pretty good. I, I really think that the new model is good. Uh, I do want to mention one more thing. I know one of y'all mentioned that I have the i7 14700K and I'm sitting at 5K, uh, 5 gigahertz. Well, that's because it's under underclocked, undervolted and everything. And if I change it up with the 14th gen, it will get hot as heck and I'll be running like 90 Celsius, which yeah, nobody wants that. And I will get less performance. Right now it's at the most optimal, even with a 360 AIO, it's definitely just a hot CPU and this thing uh, is like my worst CPU I've ever had. <laughs> I do have buyer's remorse for this. That is for sure. Um, I definitely consider going with AMD in on my next CPU. But yeah, that is all we're gonna do here. Uh, like I said, uh, if you're wondering why it's showing unsupported, there's a few games that it's still broken with, with like um, if you're manually adding the game, like I showed you with uh, Final Fantasy, but you know, definitely look at this uh, list to see if it has the NV on it. If it has the NV, then that means you will need to enable it via the app. And then if it has just a check mark, you don't have to do anything. The game's update will take care of it for you. Anyway, uh, let me know in the comments below. That is all we're going to do for this video today. Make sure you hit that like button and subscribe if you're new to the channel. Y'all take care and happy gaming.